Venus. It is the second planet from the Sun and one of four terrestrial planets. It is sometimes referred to as Earth's evil twin because of their similar mass, size, and relative location in the solar system. These planets may look somewhat similar from afar, but the closer we get to Venus, the more we realize how different they really are. For starters, the surface of Venus is dominated by huge impact craters and highly active volcanoes. It has more volcanoes than any other planet in our solar system. About 65% of the planet consists of volcanic lava plains, indicating that volcanoes played a major role in shaping its surface. Now Venus is the hottest planet in our solar system, reaching surface temperatures of a blistering 867 degrees Fahrenheit. Its thick atmosphere traps in heat and gases. It's like a global warming nightmare. Venus also has, by far, the densest atmosphere of all the terrestrial planets. It is composed mostly of carbon dioxide and thick clouds of sulfuric acid that cover the sky. Due to Venus's extremely dense atmosphere, it causes the atmospheric pressure on its surface to be around 92 times stronger than it is on Earth. The atmospheric pressure on the surface of Venus is similar to the pressure found 3,000 feet below the surface of the ocean. To put this into context, at 1,350 pounds per square inch, the pressure on the surface of Venus would feel like getting crushed by a small car. But interesting enough, at around 30 miles up from the surface of Venus, the temperatures range from about 86 to 158 degrees Fahrenheit. These temperatures could actually accommodate earthly life, such as bacteria and different types of microbes. The atmospheric pressure at this height is also drastically different than from the surface of Venus. It's more similar to the atmospheric pressure of Earth. Another thing that makes Venus different from most of the other planets is that it rotates backwards on its axis, or counterclockwise. The reason why is still a bit of a mystery but some science suggests that this may have been from a planet-sized collision that happened during Venus's formation. Venus is one of the two planets in our solar system that doesn't have a moon. The other planet is Mercury. Being so close to the sun, the gravitational pull is so strong that it makes it difficult for any moons to remain in orbit. Observing the conditions of Venus today, it's pretty easy to conclude that life couldn't exist. But some science suggests that many moons ago, Venus could have very well inhabited life, and that a global event may have occurred 700 million years ago, causing Venus's runaway greenhouse effect. Though it's hard to know for sure, one thing I do know is that the planet they decided to name after the Roman goddess of beauty and love isn't as beautiful as they thought it was.